In this video guys, we are spending 100 days as Killer B from Naruto in Shindo Life Roblox. To do this, first of all, we need to obtain the Gen 3 Octipop Spirit plus the Octi Ink Bloodline. Once we've done that, we need to reach level 500 to be able to unlock our Octi Ink moves. And then after that, we need to reach level 1500 with our Tailed Beast Spirit to be able to unlock our final form. And then at the end of the video, once we've reached max level, we need to fight Sasuke to see who truly is the strongest. Alright guys, so as you can see, right now we are killer b and if you're wondering why are we using apollo sand and shadow when we are killer b the first thing as killer b we do need to get the eight tails plus the octopop bloodline so first things first we're going to be we're not going to be using a new account for this challenge because of course we need to get the gen 3 octopop so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to play and go straight into all right so we have entered nimbus village the village that killer b grew up in so all we're going to do now is just mode up i know this is kind of cheating but the only way we are going to kill our lichy tailed beast solo is by of course using these overpowered bloodlines so the first thing that we need to do is find out where the tailed beast spawns thing is the tailed beast is a two percent drop rate plus it's not a 1.5 times drop rate day which is gonna take us so long to get the tail beast and i'm pretty sure the octopop is one out of 35 too so that's gonna take us a bunch of time to get the octopop uh, the bloodline octopop of course and then also the spirit i'm debating if i want to get the sword because the sword to be honest uh the kill killer b barely uses like he doesn't use that sword he uses like katanas or multiple katanas so i don't think i am gonna go for, for the sword but maybe at the end of the video we're gonna unlock it and use it however the priority right now is to get the bloodline and also the tailed spirit also we need 10 million rayo coins which means we're gonna have to grind a lot before we can of course unlock it right now we have 2.7 million rayo coins on this account so that means we're gonna have to grind a lot i'm hoping that we get the rayo coins whilst we are like basically grinding for this guy because it's gonna take us so long to get 10 million all right we just have to wait one minute until the octopop gen 3 spawns all right okay let's spawn the boss in imagine we get it first try that would be insane however i have a feeling that we are going to get the gen 3 mask first try which is basically useless to us and i accidentally you put the move at the wrong place i was put, meant to put it in v but it doesn't really matter we're just gonna obliterate this guy and this is the most annoying move in the entire game like i can't literally see anything on my screen at all bro like just give me a rest okay we're gonna hit him with this and then hit him with some of this Right, okay, a few more moves should kill this guy. Right, is this gonna kill him? Okay, so close, so close, so close. Okay, this V move should kill him. Okay, we need 30,000 chi, and that's gonna kill him. And of course, we don't get no drop, no bloodline, nothing. So, yeah, guys, all I'm gonna do now is just keep on grinding this guy until we eventually get the Octopop bloodline plus the Octopop spirit. And yeah, I'll catch you guys once we do. Alright guys and just like that we managed to get every single drop from this tailed beast you don't understand how long this took me i started on monday and it's now wednesday so it took me nearly basically two days of just photo grinding to get this guy's like all of his moves and managed to get 16.1 million rayo coins whilst doing so too which is insane which means we can basically unlock everything First things first, we're of course going to unlock the Octopop spirit and we're just going to unlock it here because of course we can't reset our level and then unlock it because then we need to go reach level 1000 again and we're also going to equip this and also go into Octopop and I mean Octo Inc and we're just going to reset all of our bloodline here and I think we also have Storm in this account too and we do have Storm and this is basically, it's not like uh, Kilibi's move set exactly, however it's like one of the guys in his village and everyone in his village is like kind of similar. And I'm pretty sure it's that Akagi or Darawi, one of them. And yes, his moveset. So we're going to be using Storm. And we're also going to be using Octo Ink. We're going to be using Lightning. And that is about it. And also maybe we use a Kenjutsu later. We have 336 spins. And one of the Kenjutsus that I really want is probably the Shipper one. One out of 25. That one's really, really cool. And it's like a lot to do with Killer B. It's like very, very similar to his movesets. And I think with that, after we equip our sub-ability, 
we have obtained killer bees moveset so now we can actually finally reset our level and actually start the spending 100 days all right so we've reset our level we're level one and we can finally start this straight away and the best thing is we can literally go into our jinchiriki mode straight off the bat so we're going to be getting levels with our jinchiriki mode very 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 quickly and the first thing that we do this is actually my first time doing spending 100 days in nimbus so i don't really know where the missions are going to be they should be located somewhere around here and look, we're already getting Octopop Spirit like levels already just because we're equipping it, which is really, really cool. Alright, okay, this village here has, okay, I was, I thought I was like, there's no green skull missions in like Nimbus at all, but there is now, there's like missions everywhere. Okay, we just have to rejoin the server, and a group of rogue Nimbus assassins were spotted on the outskirts, can you please take care of them? Yes, we can. Um, let's just go to them, okay, I'm guessing this is gonna be, with these villages that are always so, so far away to do like any missions, it's always very, very, very far away, it has to be like, just out the, outside the border, and is this like an invisible border, right? Yep, so we have to go around. Alright, we finally arrived and we're just gonna one shot them, one tap them and there we go. That took us so long to get them, we just literally killed them in like one second. And how many levels is that gonna get us? It should get us at least like 40 levels-ish, especially with 1.5 times XP. Uh, is that gonna get us? Okay, 38 levels, not bad, not bad at all. Alright, another green skull mission, I saw a group of rogue bandits, can you defeat them? And I'm hoping these guys are gonna be somewhat closer and they appear to be somewhat closer which is really really good all right let's just see how these m1s look like and their m1s are clean they're really really clean and but we are so overpowered already and let's check our q spec okay our q spec is like the ink move which is so annoying when like fighting it because it just covers your whole screen with black ink and you literally can't see anything so against like people it's going to be very 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 overpowered and uh, to be honest even against npcs it's going to be very very good too right, we're already level 55 from those two missions there which is not too shabby at all let's check our octopop here and see um okay level 200 700 and then level level 200 400 700 and then this one here level okay level 80 which we can unlock very very quick and okay the bloodline mode is level 400 but to be honest i don't think we're going to be needing the bloodline mode at all because this bloodline is just so much more superior than like the storm by a mile you know what to tension up we might as well do a delivery mission and we're going to deliver some mail and with that we're gonna we hopefully should get a decent amount of xp let me just mode up here just so we can go that much faster but delivering <laughs> delivering a mission just literally i'm delivering it to absolutely nowhere not even a house and we got to do some up levels from that to be fair. We're level 61 already, which is not too shabby at all. Now guys, we're just going to be doing just a little bit of green scroll grinding and stuff until we are level 400. So I can actually unlock this move here, this move here, and basically nearly all of our stall moves. And actually like start progressing with the video. Maybe after that, like we reach level 300, 400, fight one of the bosses or do a dungeon. So yeah, I'll catch you guys once I am around level 300. Alright guys, so we managed to get to level 300 with our bloodline being level 400 and 50 on both of our bloodlines which means you can basically unlock every single one of the moves and i'm pretty sure we can put these in fg and h okay okay yes perfect which means we can basically rock the two bloodlines at the same time and then we can unlock this this and can we unlock oh we can't unlock that one yet but we're very very close to unlocking we just have these last two moves that we haven't unlocked yet and also we've unlocked the mode and uh, let me just look how let me see how the mode looks like okay the mode actually gives you a good good stat boost and everything i'm pretty sure this is the raikagi one and i'm guessing killer b probably can use it too however can we rock it with both of them how does it look when we rock it with both to be honest actually looks kind of clean i cannot lie but our md is probably gonna run out very very quickly yep it's 60 md per second which is not too good so for, for now we're just going to remove that mode we're probably going to use it once we want v one sasuke we're going to use it for one of the rounds but for now i think i'm going to prioritize getting the gen 3 leveled up and let me i want to test out the moves on the ink bloodline because i'm guessing they're going to be very very overpowered right okay some rogue nimbus assassins all right we're just going to destroy them really quickly oh for some reason i, I we just literally came here and i uh, think you just got complete well okay that was actually very very weird let's try out the new moves that we have let's try out the octi pop ink moves first okay they're actually really really clean okay and then the g move okay the g move is like a move that we aim with and we just literally just destroyed them with that move oh my god all right okay <laughs> that was really really clean and let's just check out the v move what is the v move okay it's just like a cloud that comes in and it just hits them and then the this move here like very similar to lightning and yeah i'm guessing this these two bloodlines actually go like really really good with each other plus we have lightning element that we can basically unlock this move okay we need some chi here we need some chi okay we can unlock this move and i'm guessing we can unlock this move 
and this move so far and then we literally just need this that, the end move here and the h move since we are above level 300 we might as well go and do a dungeon as it's going to give us so much xp plus it's going to give us a good amount of gen 3 tailed beast xp too so i'll catch you guys once we are doing the dungeon all right okay we are in the shindai valley dungeon as you know shindai valley is like one of the easier dungeons you could do and we're gonna go straight in with this move here okay look we actually do a good amount of damage and then hit him with this uh, we're doing an easy dungeon so i'm guessing we should be able to pass this fairly fairly easily and we've already passed wave one with like no difficulty at all of course but as the waves go on it's going to get way more difficult i actually want to try out my two storm moves with like actually against mobs here let me just check okay what does this move do okay that's actually it's not a bad move at all to be honest and then this move it's like a shock move oh and it hits more than one person at a time it kind of stuns them but at the same time it's not that really that great the stun but yeah so far it's actually not bad we're gonna hit them with this ink move too and okay to be honest this moveset is really really good i can't wait to like use it in pvp i feel like it's going to be very very overpowered and we've also got this here too hits multiple people and then we're just going to hit them with some of our e moves okay yeah this moveset i think we should be able to to get that to at least wave eight and complete this dungeon all right okay we made it to wave seven which means we're hopefully going to make it to wave eight if we all manage to survive these guys actually do so much damage especially when like they team up on you like the damage just like accumulates and they do so much like this guy with the inter akuma bloodline has been carrying so so much okay we're gonna have to hit them with this here okay that's gonna hit a lot of them there's only seven mobs left so even if, even if the guy does somehow die we will be able to clutch it up and we're just gonna kill these guys real quick all right there we go and the last and final one shindai i actually feel not confident at all that we're gonna be able to kill this guy uh, yeah okay we've basically already done nearly half of his hp so should not be that difficult this guy's literally on literally like <laughs> he's on like one hp so we're just gonna have to hit him with this and a few more m ones should basically kill him and he is dead okay now he's dead yes sir okay perfect he is dead and look how much we got 35 million xp plus let's check how much we got in our sub ability here okay we got 3.5 million which should get us so like at least hopefully level 700 so we can unlock mode 2 whilst we're at it because mod 1 is decent but mod 2 is going to give us a way better stat boost all right so our mod basically got us to level 400 so i think if i'm not mistaken one more dungeon should get us to level 500 which means we can unlock the mod let me actually just make sure it is level 500 okay yeah it is level 500 so i'm just going to do a, like a dungeon real quick until we actually get to level 500 and yeah i'll catch you guys then all right so we completed one dungeon and now we are level 711 plus we basically got to level 700 with our octopop which means we can unlock the last move and also we managed to get to mode 2 and i'm pretty certain this mode now has an e-spec 2 which is really really good so let's actually go and try that out we need to find a green scroll or do we go and fight a boss i think you know what we're level 700 we might as well go and see how strong we are against a boss right so we're gonna fight zeno dokai okay third time fighting this boss here and let's see how much damage we do we're gonna go straight in with the chidori there we should have not went for that we should have went for our q move see we've got like a new q move now and also the z spec is like kind of different it's like a and then also that we've got an e spec that just throws a lot of bg bombs at the boss and then we can okay yo he's actually he's kind of hitting us a lot i do want to try our h move too I want to see what the H move does. Okay, the H move just takes out our tentacles and just hits him for a lot. Okay, that's actually really, really cool. Okay, but now we need to actually properly focus because this guy is kind of hitting us with too much, too much damage. Our, our moons are really, really clean and they actually do like a really good amount of damage too. Oh, because I hate, I hate fighting Zenodok. I just really like, forgot how broken that bloodline really, really is. He's already done half of his damage, but I think we're probably going to die very, very, very soon because we are very, very low and... At least let's do as much damage as possible before we do die. And yep, he got us with a combo and he hit us with that scythe. And yeah, we basically done nearly all of his like HP already. I think next time we wake up, we are going to defeat him. In the corner, he can't even do anything. And the last and final hit. Tipo says boss is actually not that difficult to kill at all. I'm just going to kill him with this here. There we go. And that was very, very, very easy. And this should give us a decent amount of XP, like at least 5 million, I'm hoping. Okay, there we go. I don't know what was hitting me there, but that gave us, I didn't even see, I think it was like 4-5 million XP, which is not too shabby at all. We're level 727, which is not bad. And I think now, guys, we're going to be doing a training arc where we do literally basically just level up 
until we level a thousand because as you know once we are level a thousand we can actually like level up our sub ability our octopop spirit very very easily like two dungeons with our octopop spirit once we are level a thousand is going to get us to max level with our sub ability if that does make sense so right now guys we're going to be doing a training arc just trying to get as powerful as possible and get as many levels as possible and yeah i'll catch you guys after the training arc is complete Alright guys, so this last green scroll should should get us to level a thousand and with that after that we can actually finally start leveling up our Octopop Spirit because right now I think it's level 650 but once we do basically get to level a thousand our XP like boost is just gonna go so high for the sub abilities it's gonna be crazy so let's just really really quickly complete this to be honest this key spec is so go to this especially like in dungeons and stuff it's so so good and it literally just like one taps them and that should get us to level a thousand we're already level 999 so i'm guessing the green scrolls are at least going to give us one level and there we go we are at level a thousand which means now we're going to go into some dungeons i think it's going to take us probably like two or three dungeons like completed to be able to get this to max level so we can fight the titanium boss so yes yeah, level a thousand and then after that it's level 1500 so i mean i'm gonna do two of them real quick and yeah i'll see you guys once we've completed the dungeons all right guys so we managed to get to level 1500 with our spirit and as you can see literally like perfectly at level 1500 and the way that we unlock form 4 as you see at the bottom right it says fight boss so you have to write exclamation mark tentacion and we should get teleported to the boss fight the thing is our our bloodlines are not suited for a boss fight unfortunately but we're still going to use them of course because we're not like we're not allowed to use like apollo sand and shadow anymore all right okay we spawned in here and i'm guessing it's going to teleport us anytime soon yes it has teleported us i'm just gonna have to mode up straight away to be honest for some reason i prefer mode 2 way more than mode 3 in my opinion and we're gonna hit with this how much damage does this do yeah okay this is gonna be a very 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 long fight i cannot lie how much damage have we done so far yeah we've barely done any damage i think our best bet is just to do some m1s and some of these hits here and just hope for the best i'm hoping he doesn't use that ink move that covers my whole screen like fully black that is not going to be ideal in this situation okay we've done like a decent amount of uh, damage so far and i think yeah we're just gonna just hit him with some m1s and he does the move that i did not want him to do it's like the worst move he could have done. I think is I'm grateful that he does not do that much damage. He does like a decent amount. That's like we're, we're still able to basically just do a lot of damage to him and he's rested, which is perfect. Alright, okay. Since he's rest since he's came back from resting, he's been doing two he's been hitting me for a lot for some reason. And I do not like that at all. I think we've done we've basically done half his HP already, which is not too shabby. He's very, very, very low, but we are kind of low too at the same time, so it's not looking too good if i'm being honest i think we'll be able to do this okay i think so and our md is like kind of close to running out and he's used the ink oh i hate it what he used the ink move twice in a row bro why is he doing that now bro when he's like low hp thing is okay if he rests we'll be able to kill him okay we'll have to hit him we have to use our syringe and i think we'll be able to kill him now i'm hoping and okay there we go we defeated him and unlocked the tentacion mode is it going to teleport us back to be honest those are really need to because we already looked at there was like a so we had like a small sneak peek of that form 4 and it is extremely 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 clean and i think the q spec is not bad 
pretty certain the key spec is that kind of like a combo move so let's try it out look at all the tails coming out and stuff this design is so cool to be honest all the gen 3 designs are very 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 nice and the, i'm guessing it's gonna be like a new e spec uh, a good z, z spec and also a good q spec the q spec is e either gonna be like a, a combo extender or it's just gonna be us in our tail beast form if i hit him once yep okay so it's probably gonna be us in the tail beast form and yeah the tail beast looks so clean too Okay, our Q spec, okay, yeah, there's like a thingy that comes out, okay, our tail beast comes out, we also have a combo too, which is really, really clean, and I don't even know what just happened there, I thought we can also hit them with our M1s, hit them with the E spec, okay, the E spec is just a thingy, a BG bomb, and for some reason that didn't work, and then Z spec, okay, Z spec is like a massive BG bomb, and it does a lot of damage, which is insane, and then our M1s, of course, very very clean and ones and there we go just like that bro we've got the full mode and all we have to do now is go and fight sasuke to see who truly is the strongest so yeah i'll catch you guys in shindai valley once we are 1v1ing sasuke all right so your boy couldn't find anyone to 1v1 as sasuke so we're gonna go for the next best alternative and it is to fight ryan akuma and ryan akuma is basically just based all around sasuke so it's basically sasuke's bloodline and sasuke's susano so we're gonna accept the quest and we're gonna have to defeat the Susano and the boss without dying once, which is gonna be, I think, fairly, fairly easy to be honest, because we have literally one of the best bloodline, like not one of the best bloodlines, but like a very, very good bloodline plus some ability to kill any boss we want. And I'm not sure where Ryan Akuma is. I cannot lie. I don't, I don't know where, I don't know where our Ryan Akuma is. I'm like just hitting the Susano. That's it. Alright, okay, let's try that again for some reason before Ryan Akuma just basically just glitched on us. And I'm hoping this time he doesn't. Okay, so we have to basically defeat both of these guys here. And we're just gonna absolutely destroy them. Like, bro, Gen 3 Octopop Spirit is so goated. To be honest, any Gen 3 Spirit is really, really good at fighting bosses. So, fighting this guy here, we should not be an issue at all. It's just that our chakra runs out fairly, fairly quickly. Which is not too good. Okay, so we've already killed the Susano. Literally took care of it without even noticing that he was there. Okay, this guy's gonna start comboing me here, as to be expected. I've already done literally half of his damage already, with literally no trouble at all. Okay, things I can't really use moves because my chi just runs out so quickly, and I can't like load up my chi because every time I do, he just hits me with these combos. Alright, okay, he's hitting our thingy there, so we can actually load up our chi whilst he's hitting our tail beast, and now we go back to attacking, hitting him with this move here. Should stun him, perfect. And yep, he's not gonna. Literally, yep, he's not gonna do anything. And I think just a few more hits should be able to defeat him. Alright, is this is this C spec gonna kill him? Or is that too little of damage? I think yeah, but okay, there we go. We've killed Sasuke without dying once. I mean it is the boss version of Sasuke, but I guess Killer B is still stronger.